Hello there, good to see you again. Now today I want to show you how to make an effective music video, digipack and website in combination. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the music video we made together last week. Our artist style in our music video and ancillary tasks is a mixture of casual, feminine and sophisticated. In our music video, Amanda is dressed in a pastel mustard coloured top and light blue jeans, brown chinos and a pastel pink top with a coat as it was incredibly cold, and a coral coloured blouse with jeans. After listening to Amanda's songs, we felt that they reflected an outgoing, innocent persona, and this is why we chose clothing that was fairly modest, but still hugged Amanda's frame, as we want to promote the message of body confidence to our young teenage audience, as well as late teenage audience. So we're going to start off with a digipack, and here's one that I made earlier. We thought about a black colour scheme, but after deliberation, we felt that this would not be suitable for a pop artist. It'd be way too dark and way too dull. Now we're going to need some cardboard, which we've got here. You can get it from pretty much any store. We're going to need some scissors and some sellotape and also some funky photography, which I've taken with a digital camera and edited in Photoshop. Remember that scissors are sharp, so ask a parent or guardian for help as this can get quite tricky and quite dangerous. We chose a theme of bright pastel colours as we felt that this goes hand in hand with the pop genre with its connotations of fun, excitement and movement. After looking at other pop artists who are similar to Amanda's conventional Disney bubblegum pop style such as Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift and sometimes even Katy Perry, we noticed the use of bright colours which represent an effervescent personality, thus appealing to prepubescents as well as teenagers as the pastel tone means that it is less likely to be perceived as childish. So our digipack is going to be 13 by 13 centimetres and I'm going to use this CD as a template. What I've basically done is just got some cardboard, put it down and drawn around it like so and that's how I've cut it out and I've already done that for you. See here, 13 by 13 centimetres. In regards to our photo shoot for the photography used on our Digipack and website, we thought carefully about marketing. In the pictures of Amanda in the mustard yellow jumper, we took a range of different shots. We have a number of close-ups to market Amanda as an artist, as she is an unsigned artist. And then what I've done is we need to bind our digipack together. So I've cut out thick strips about 2mm each in order to bind them together. I've just used sellotape and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So here's our sellotape. Scissors. I'm going to bind this with this. So I've already done that here, as you can see. So I'm going to bind this together over here. I'm going to turn it over to make it a little bit easier. And what I'm going to do is bind it like that. And then I'm going to use another strip make sure that it's nice and secure. There are some shots in which she's smiling and some in which she's staring to the camera giving a sultry look. It's the well-known fact that sex and sex appeal sells, so we wanted to use this to our advantage. Another example of this is her visibly bare shoulder in some of the shots. Although sex sells, we had to bear in mind that our target audience varies from prepubescent girls to teenagers who are the largest consumers of pop music. We could not be overtly sexual as this would be inappropriate and not market Amanda in the innocent positive way in which we wish. The pictures we took with the green screen showed a much more fun side to Amanda with shots of her smiling, songwriting and with the umbrella. I suggested these shots as you want to market a man as a down-to-earth character who came from humble beginnings. From personal experience, I am more inclined to listen to an artist with a similar background to mine, someone I can relate to. We decided to have a mixture of both sultry and smiley shots on our website in order to have sex appeal, but to balance it with the down-to-earth nature of our artists. Not only to make our music video and silly retard suitable for our partly prepubescent audience, but to potentially appeal to a broader audience. This fun idea to Amanda has been emphasised not only in our photography, but also in our video with Amanda smiling and making direct eye contact with the camera. This creates a relationship between our audience and Amanda, making them more inclined to want to purchase her digipack and view her website. We want to market Amanda as a role model, 
someone that young girls can aspire to. There is a clear contrast between glamorous and casual as we felt that this would appeal to our broad, prepubescent and teenage audience. In the music video, Amanda appears much more casual in her clothing, only wearing a slight hint of makeup in the London shots, whereas on our digipacking website, with the use of lighting manipulation, costume and body language to emulate a photography studio, she appears much more glamorous, but still only wearing a hint of makeup. This promotes the idea of body image confidence to our female audience and the idea that they should not feel the need to be glamorous or wear makeup all the time, which pop videos fail to convey. it nice and pure like so so now we've got our panel here which is nice and secure so it should look something like this you want to bind this one together as well so we do that obviously you'll be a lot more careful than me I'm just showing you a quick demonstration of how to make a digi pack or a digipack plan. So there we've got it. So it should actually look something like this. It depends on how many panels you want to do. You can do any amount that you want. And this is where our photography comes into play. So I've got these pictures here, quite flashing images. And it's completely up to you how you want to do this. But remember, you have to market your artist as well as marketing your website and your digipack, all in combination. So they all have to complement each other. So I've already stuck on an image, the back, this is where the track list is going to go as you can see. The artist is pointing to the track list and then you put your barcode over here or over here. Um, but you need these components because they're typical of the digipack and you also can't forget about your font. So think really carefully about what font you use. The front cover of our digipack features a close up image of Amanda smiling, a fresh look with hardly any makeup a signature way to market her image. We have chosen to have a poster of Amanda that has been cited as a personal touch, which is featured on our website, and a chance to win a ticket to her concert. This is another marketing strategy as it breaks down the consumer artist barrier and again makes Amanda appear more close to home. The collage of images on all our panels emphasizes the different sides of Amanda's personality as an individual and as an artist. This has been reiterated by the collage effect on the enter page of our website. In our music video, the same idea of showing Amanda both as a celebrity and as an individual can be seen on the split screen used in our music video. As mentioned before, we want to break down the consumer artist barrier to build a relationship. I suggested that we feature rose petals for an added sense of femininity. The rose petals are placed on the track list as well as the website and can be seen as footsteps, an extended metaphor for moving on. In addition to this, the multiple images of Amanda is a marketing strategy to help Amanda to gain recognition not only for our target audience but the wider public also, bringing a new audience. It also allows the audience to conjure up a sense of the good role model that Amanda is. The fonts that we have used on our DigiPack and website are smooth, simple, clean and legible with a feminine touch in order to market our artists as we felt the simplicity of the font would reinforce the clean cut, fresh, down to earth image of Amanda which is seen through the simplicity of our hair and makeup in our music video and some of the images on our website. We need a website to match now. Here's one that I made earlier. Our website is easy to navigate around with simple legible hyperlinks at the top next to our large header image. I find that some websites can be confusing as the hyperlinks and tabs for navigation aren't clear and often exit the website completely, but we want to avoid this. We use pastel pink for the digipack, so we're gonna use it for the website too. Last week we went through how to use Wix, but this week we're actually going to be using Wix to uh, make our website. Let's start off by actually planning our website. We have to use the space on our page effectively. The Heart Shaped Booklet, which is various sections from her biography, hobbies, awards recognitions, to lyrics, mirror the information on our website and helps to form some kind of relationship between the consumers and Amanda. This is essential as she's an unsigned artist and if our consumers feel that they know a little bit about Amanda's life and music and her humble beginnings, they are more inclined to listen to her music. Um, think of it as the rule of thirds in photography. We've got to think about marketing the artist, why using certain images, font and colour. So I've decided that I want to put my head up at the top. I'm going to put my hyperlinks underneath it. 
We chose to place a relaxed image of Amanda lying down with her hair in tousled waves, smiling to mirror the front cover of our digipack. This adds a sense of welcoming for our audience. The large header image grabs the viewer's attention instantaneously, as well as marketing our artist. And in my head, I'm gonna have an image. Like... So. And now I've got all this space at the bottom, so I wanna think, this is my home page, so I don't wanna have loads and loads of information on it. So I'm gonna divide it into three, and I've decided that I'm going to have an image here on the side. I'm going to have another image here to mirror that. And then here I'm going to have maybe some more images and text. So here will be an image. Think of what kind of image you want to have. Our home page consists of images and our music video with little text as opposed to a multitude of text. This is because we want to keep our home page simple, as this is the first page that the viewer would see when they go onto our website, we don't want to bombard them with too much information, but instead market our artist. This is why we have split it into fours, with an image on each side featuring Amanda's latest music video, her awards, an image of merchandise and tour dates. We feel that we have created this in an easily digestible manner. Even if our audience do not go through every single page on our website, they will be attracted to either the merchandise page, which will generate money, which can go towards marketing Amanda further, so that she can become a globally renowned artist. The music video will generate hits, which will again generate money as YouTube pay per hit. In addition to this, fans of Amanda can access her tour date and the fact that her new album is out at the touch of a button. Um, here we're going to have maybe an award, we might have merchandise, that way you're giving the viewer lots of information but in a digestible way. Um, and then here I might have some writing. The pictures on the biography page of our website show Amanda smiling and another picture holding up an A filling her cheeks with air to portray a fun bubbly side to Amanda. This is another marketing strategy as our audience will be more drawn in if Amanda appears to be friendly and down to earth. The biography isn't too long, we've chosen to just feature the most important points in Amanda's life. As a teenager myself, I know that I would not sit and read a very, very long biography and younger teenagers are very unlikely to. Some text or I might have another image instead. There's an emphasis on her wars, which shows that Amanda is an ambitious, positive individual, something that teenagers should aspire to. Coincidentally, Amanda's achievements can be related to the track Everything Lies and this idea of moving on. It can be said that Amanda is moving on to new and better things. Vivek created personalised merchandise using Photoshop on our shop page. This is another marketing strategy as when Amanda's fans buy items, others will see the personalisation of the items and ask where it's from, which will spark a conversation about Amanda and direct the inquirer to our website and her music. So I've got here that's all blank and I've got here that's all blank. But it's good to kind of mirror the two and you've got to think about what kind of hyperlinks you want. So this is a very, very rough plan. That's the plan done, so now you can go ahead and register with Wix and actually make your website. But you should check out all of the ready-made websites that Wix have to offer. So there you have it, an effective music video, digipack and website. See you next time, bye! No! <laughs> oh, I know what to do now. Okay, go and do it again. No, you don't. I don't know if you're going to do that. I was just like, what? <laughs> Look at that face. Come on. <laughs> That's so fake! Okay, uh, how, what, 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 kind of, what should I do? Like, what facial action no. should I do? <gasps> Let me show you. Oh, okay, now. Walk in. You go, grab it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm gonna grab it.
charge found it. Oh, go on, do that again. Oh, that was good as well.